that we'll that will be able to get some. Yeah. How many how many um, estheticians or staff do you have in your? We have we have three. Um, okay. We had well, so we had three, um, but unfortunately, one of them is going to be moving on um, from because of this hydrofacial. Okay. That's that's me. Uh, so there'll be four of us. There'll be four of you. And then yeah. you'll have someone else that's also going to be helping you out with that part, the aesthetics part? Um, for now, since I'm just getting started with it, it's going to be just me. Okay. Um, so it will be, it will be, you know, something that we'll have to grow. And as, as it gets bigger, if it, it, you know, as, as I get busier, I'll, I am considering you know, maybe picking up an extra nurse or something so that they can help me out with it. Because I, I, I am training for micro micro needling as well, um, and also training for dermal cleaning, and that's that's nursing. Oh, that's always been nursing part of it. Yeah, because I can't. My estheticians aren't allowed to break skin. Gotcha. So it's yeah. like your mom is also helping you. Your business. Yeah, so so my mom and I actually went into the business together. Um, the previous owner was her friend. Um, so we joined it together, but my mom's at that age where she's also been, you know, kind of tired of doing two jobs. So she stepped back, back a lot. Like she's not she's not coming in anymore because she's ready to retire. Um, so it, it all kind of fell into my lap. <laughs> Which makes it more challenging, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I'm learning to make decisions that, of things that I've never had to make before, which is, you know, it's challenging, but at the same time, I feel like I'm growing a lot from it. That's awesome. I mean, it's, yeah. that's the whole part of, you know, being an entrepreneur. You, yeah. I, I think having your skin done every, every four weeks um, regularly, it gives you that extra person who's looking really close to your skin. And that's an extra screening for you because a lot of people don't screen themselves in terms of, you know, whether or not you have a new mole that's questionable. You know, is that something that should be checked out that's by a dermatologist? True. So that's one of the things as a nurse, that's one of the things that I'm like, well, this is an extra service that I'm offering because if I see something that's questionable on your skin and, and you should see a dermatologist about it, then that's, you know, that's, that's, I feel, I, I would, you know, I feel like that's a plus for me in terms of how, how I've done my service. So, there's. It's just I. I feel like it's neglected a lot, and and, but but we spend so much time, so much money on trying to look different. Um, but my my whole goal is for you to be comfortable in your own skin. In your own skin, and it's part yeah. of self care, right? So everybody, yeah. Everybody talks about self care, um, but that's also a part of it. So yes, it yes. goes hand in hand with with that. So it goes with you know trying to look good physically. Your skin is also a part of that. So. Yes, I totally agree. Yeah. <laughs> um, tell tell everyone how can they like if they if they want to see the product that you have, they want to purchase a product. Um, where can they go? What's your website? Um, okay, so we have our website is our name, our business name. It's www. <laughs> uh, RadiantTotalSkincare.com. Okay. And and from there you can look at the different services that we have. There's also an appointment um, section where you can make an appointment. Although I know that right now that's not something we can do. Um, and then there's a link up on the top where you can connect to our store, where you can buy all the products. We have our own Radiant product um, that's comparable to Obagi actually. The the person who made who made our products or formulated our products worked side by side with Obagi, but he, he didn't agree with a lot of the hydroquinone that was put into Obagi, which is a very active um, ingredient. Um, so our product don't have hydroquinone, um, just, uh, you know, it, it's it, that's how it's different from Obagi, but everything else is similar. Um, so we have our own product, and then we also um, have a partnership with hydropeptide, which I really love. It was actually something that was recommended by my friend who's a dermatologist. Uh, she's um, She was a dermatologist from Cornell and she also went to Harvard for her medicine. Um, oh, wow. and, and she has her own practice and she's in Massachusetts. Or you can you know check out our website. Um, there's also a way for you to get a hold of us through there. And then you do have a YouTube channel, right? Currently. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Is it all just like, um, uh, what do you, Tell, tell us about your YouTube channel. 
Yeah, so so the YouTube channel is, you know, it's it's a it's one of the newer things that we're doing. Um we are working on videos to help you understand the products that we have. Um and we are planning on doing videos as well in terms of what you can do at this time while you can't go and get your facial services. Um like what kind of regular products you can use, what kind of routines you should have depending on you know um your skin your skin type and what kind of ingredients you want to stay away from if you're going to have to go to like a grocery store to buy your product um then then what kind of ingredients to stay away from if if you have certain types of um skin issues so those those are the things that we're we're you know working on putting up in our YouTube channel i mean it's relatively new i'm just getting used to cutting and 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 auditing i mean um what is it called um uh recording i mean this, this whole me in front of a camera is very new for me i mean <laughs> anyone who knows me knows i'm anti selfie you know it's like i don't want to put my face on there but as a skincare business owner i i definitely have to show that you know i'm comfortable in my own skin and and that's something that i want people to to be able to do as well it's kind of hard absolutely and especially like, like you're in, in that in that business so it's your product is basically your skin and your face. Yeah. Right, so. <laughs> yeah. It is also Radiant Total Skin Care on YouTube. If they want it to is. Do that. It is. Yeah, it is. We have a few um, uh, videos on there. I'm still working on a few more um, so that we can do that. And also my lead esthetician um, is actually also doing some videos as well. She's doing um, reviews of our products. But we'll get to the tips in terms of what you guys can do while you're at home so that you can take care of your skin in the meantime that would be great yeah so um i know that you're you're totally a busy mama so um, tell them a little like the last thing is like maybe like as a as a small business owner to a small business owner what are your like words of encouragement to other business owners um so yeah, we, we I, this is this is the first business I've ever had. Um I definitely think that um you know networking is something that that's helped. I mean, you your business, your group, West the the Greater West Covina group, you guys have definitely been um encouraging and I think that that's definitely something we all need, especially as a small business, we all kind of need to help each other out. Um but I always think, you know, at this point I know it's you know it's a scary time it's very uncertain in terms of what's going to happen yeah. but I'm always thinking about that I don't know if you've seen it but there's um there's this this show this this movie called Sing it's 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 cartoon um Sing? have you seen it yeah sing yeah, with with yeah, um yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if you remember there's a part where he goes you know the you know the best thing about um be hitting rock bottom <laughs> is that the only way you can go is up and and I feel like you know that's that's kind of relevant at this point because we all you know as a small business owner you're you're like oh my gosh what am I going to do am I going to stay open am I going to you know um but uh fortunately we have enough to kind of kind of hang out you know for a few more a few more weeks a few more months um and and try to make some changes before we open back up and we are going to be able to stay open um but you know that that's just something i kind of have to remember you know it feels like we're hitting rock bottom at this point as a social me- uh, as a as a small business but i know that there is always a different way to go and that's just up at this point that's true. so so that's that's that's, that's that's what i would recommend i mean i know it's kind of disheartening at times but i think you know try to do what you can in the meantime um and and you know